Here's seven things you may not know about Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo actually started as Alfa in 1910, which stands for Anonima Lombarda Fabrica Automobili, in English, public company of automobiles in Lombardy. Lombardy is the north Italian region where Milan is the capital. Romeo was added to the name in 1920 after the Neapolitan entrepreneur Nicola Romeo, who had just acquired the company. The Alfa Romeo logo is probably the most interesting one in the motor industry. On the left we see the red cross which symbolised the city of Milan. It was painted on the Milanese soldiers' shields dating back to the Crusades. You may also have noticed a similar red cross on the famous AC Milan football jersey. On the right hand side we see a green snake eating a small child known in Italian as the Biscione. This was actually the emblem of the Visconti, the famous Milanese family and dates back to the 13th century. The Quadrifoglio Verde, which in English means the green clover leaf, is always seen on the Alfa Romeo's top sports models. It was introduced by Ugo Sivocci, an official Alfa Romeo race driver, back in 1923. He was a prolific second place winner and thought to have this symbol painted on his Alfa Romeo race car as good luck. It sure did bring him good luck and Alfa Romeo as well. He went on to win Alfa Romeo's first Targa Florio. He died in a crash a year later, while testing a new Alfa Romeo race car, which did not have the Quattrofoglio Verde painted on the car. Alfa Romeo then decided to always have this symbol painted on all their top performance cars. In 1929, Enzo Ferrari started working for Alfa Romeo as a racing car driver, and then went on to run their official racing team as team director. He did this successfully until 1939 where he left to start up his own motor company. During this time the racing Alfa Romeos had the prancing horse painted on their shields. That's right, the famous prancing horse was painted on an Alfa Romeo before it was ever painted on a Ferrari. Henry Ford had so much respect for Alfa Romeo that he used to tip his hat every time he saw an Alfa Romeo. Ferruccio Lamborghini used to own an Alfa Romeo 1900 which the family still owns to this day. Alfa Romeo was acquired in 1986 by the Fiat Group, who also owns Ferrari, Maserati, Lancia, Jeep, Chrysler and Dodge, now known as Fiat Chrysler Automobiles. It has recently invested 5 billion euro in the development of this new car, the Alfa Romeo Giulia. It is still built in Italy, like every other Alfa Romeo ever made, in the most sophisticated state-of-the-art motor car factory in Europe, perhaps the world. Alfa's new SUV, the Stelvio, which will be released in Australia early next year, is also built at this plant.